When I saw this embellishment, this book, open book, I always knew I wanted to use it with the butterflies. I think it's gonna be perfect as a single page. And I'm using this Stamperia, the same journal book as we've done in the previous video, but it's in a bigger size. This one is a five. I love the sturdy cardboard issue feel to the pages because you don't have to really glue two, three, four pages together. Uh, but if you have old book, uh, regular old book, just glue two, three pages together. It's gonna be fine. With this one, you don't have to do it. My idea is to create some background as well. And I have this gorgeous 49 market paper and I just felt that look, all of this is sort of in the similar color scheme. So what I will do is I'm gonna cut the A5 size page here and probably have it as my background. I was also thinking that maybe it would be nice to have our edges cut round so it will be probably just fitting nicer on the page. This, um, this, this, this punchy thing, you can honestly get it everywhere. I got it somewhere online um, for fiver, I think. So not expensive and a very handy tool, especially if you're a card maker as well and you wish to do um, plenty of paper backgrounds with the around the edges. Okay, my friends, I think this page is gonna happen itself. Like, look at it, it's so gorgeous. In the meantime, before anything, I have cut this butterfly in half because I felt that there isn't that many sort of butterflies flying on the side. Look, this page is literally doing, happening on its own. Like, you don't really have to try hard to create some gorgeousness looking page. Now we need to sort of focus how many of these butterflies we really need. Cheers my beautiful friends, I have coffee. Fresh, nice, warm coffee. I must say this morning isn't the greatest. I won't go into details. I just uh, definitely need a crafting session with you. So thank you so much if you're watching. I hope you are sending some positive vibes for this video, for in general, in life. Anyway, that's a sidetracked mind of Marta. We have um, two in Distress inks, two inks that we could use. One is Vintage Photo, one is Walnut Stain. Vintage Photo seems to be for vintage, feel and touch and finish and all, and it's great. However, I think this is more brown, this is less brown. And I think for this particular reason, I prefer to have um, this ink on my project. Let me just show you the difference maybe um, a little bit. There we go. So this is more brown and this is more, this is more yellowishy. This is more brown. I prefer this one, which is the walnut stain, not the actual vintage photo. Again, it's a personal choice, of course. Uh, just my feel is, yes, I prefer the other one. So I'm thinking to grab all of these embellishments, all of these fussy cut elements from our um, die cut set. And look again, we have only limited amount of supplies. We have ink, paper, embellishments. That's only like five, uh, three <laughs> out of five. So you will see that sometimes by a choice of what are you buying when you do scrapbook shopping, um, by the choice of your element supplies, your die cut elements, your focal points for your pages. This is this is gonna determine your projects. For example, when I shop, I'm focusing on element pages, on die cut elements, on all sorts of focal points elements, on things that could be my focal point, on things that could um, could be just basically um, something super special for my page. So that's my thinking. Again. It is everyone's personal choice, but that would be that would be my sort of way of uh, shopping and seeing what could I um, purchase to have a lot of interest on my pages and not having a trouble. Oh, what I'm going to put on my page? What I'm going to put on my page? So I'm adding edges, colored edges to uh, all the butterflies, and I'm going to do the same thing on the page as well. And as I have mentioned in the beginning, I really, really, really wanted to do this book 
mm, page and I always knew it's gonna be butterflies I'm sure that it's when Vicky was making this set I wouldn't be surprised if that was her initial idea all together so it's nothing original but and I didn't even check I'm sure that there are plenty of pages already finished like that but I just wanted myself to comply 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 finish I mean make <laughs> page of this kind I love it I remember years back someone asked me to do the same thing in a real book so have the real book standing out uh, in 3d with the butterflies being glued down and really flying off the page I'm not saying I, I want to try to do it now because life has changed and you know maybe I will have enough of time and focus to actually to actually do it I'm also thinking to add something lastly and that could be a little bit of white stamping underneath it maybe uh, since it's a limited amount of supplies and this one is really five supplies journal you will see for yourself that you can make a gorgeous page without much of a trying now I usually would cut out this part or I would just make it shorten because chatting where you're doing just a silly touch of sponge it's a time sort of wasted but I made a little poll yesterday on my Instagram stories and I've asked what would you like what do you like would you prefer videos with the voiceovers with the chat or chats or music and I couldn't believe it 95% was chats only five most music and what's interesting as well was that I got plenty of messages saying from you always chat from others music <laughs> that was quite cute that from you it's chat 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 and I'm thinking I am chat chat chatting right now where I could fossic um, do that off camera and really not taking time but sometimes maybe it's okay to to have a company even doing of these sort simple things now I'm adding tiny blending in, in inside the page as well in places you can do circle motion I'm sure that it would help if I just have it lie down flat rather than in my hands but that's okay too I think okay oh, I love this I absolutely love this imagine this I just added Pritt stick glue in the back and that's it super simple glue of this kind this one is a huge one be sure to if you be purchasing it don't spend twenty dollars on it because I paid around four or five dollars which is which is a ordinary good price but I saw that on Amazon the huge print stick glues are for twenty or something so no 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 it's a no-go let's stamp now I have this white ink I love this ink it's from scrapbook.com I think it's fantastic I really think it's fantastic I'm gonna be very gentle and I just wanted to say I'm not too sure how much we're gonna see looks like not too much maybe I'm gonna grab a gray one instead because it is so very bright a gray stamp this one is my favorite it's Pumis stone color this one is oxide um, I have been mixing oxides and regular inks uh, just whatever I have I don't really pay attention to that now this stamp is from my store it's a text stamp that I just cut it in half it's so usually it's longer twice longer uh, and one is white that I'm using a lot and one is black but this time I'm just using I'm gonna just use gray and let's see super and um, when you using stamp on the foil as like I'm doing right now it's great because honestly you don't um, you you don't want the perfect square stamp so I'm if you if you look closely I'm pressing it gently so that it's not like I'm not I'm pressing in the middle sort of thing to see I love it I think it's gonna be great it's a lovely background idea right now um, my question is as well I have a Pumis stone um, I think we may do a little bit of yes a little bit of um, sp splashes I meant to say splashes and maybe I'm gonna grab white as well why not usually I would start as oopsie 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 this is way too much usually I would I would um, 
I would do splashes like when I'm done but you know what why not to do a little bit different this time and just go for a sort of background preparation and yeah just move this aside a little bit different um, than usual to my project but I think that's okay too I love that very much I'm not saying we're not gonna do more stamping of course we and uh, more splashing <laughs> of course we possibly do we possibly will make some bit of more my my thinking as well is now that it would be nice to add some addition of pink because our butterflies are pink if we could have a little bit of pink happening I have this dirty water literally Do you know and I'm thinking just add in place it's just a touch of a touch of pink like the same way as and as it's there and maybe there we go lastly some pink splashes uh, as well I love that beautiful background so let's group this down here and let's see quickly how much space we need baby maybe baby maybe baby maybe we need a little bit of going down with it to fit all the I don't know just just I'm just out loud thinking if we may need a little bit of I'm gonna fit one more butterfly here let's see yes that's what I was thinking that maybe we're gonna go a little bit lower so we will fit all these butterflies right now I have this title and honestly it just I don't think there is any need for explanation just that's what's in my mind right now and I'm gonna leave it at that I feel that my page is becoming more meaningful than ever before um, yeah Um, let me just show you that I have done a touch of this brown dark chocolate Dervant ink tense and I have added a little bit of color under the book to create some depth and shadow and please know that when you don't have any gesso happening you can't move the pigment well it is just far more difficult um, it just doesn't move as maybe you wish um, so it's if you wish to do a little bit of coloring happening it's better if you grab some gesso clear gesso and go over your project with clear gesso I didn't do it because I kind of wish to maybe challenge myself a little bit I like that saying I'm gonna add it here as well a touch of that color maybe it goes probably underneath it a little bit because it's uh, this one is part of my uh, what you call them vellum ve vellum mm, sort of um, papers okay I like that I think I may just have uh, I'm playing with dirty water still <laughs> This is a little bit weird, but that's I, I like that sometimes. I may just have a little, a little bit of touch here, and I'm gonna grab quickly. You see, not the pigment, nothing is moving because it is on top of the paper, so you won't be able to move the pigment once it's there. It's there, like that's it. So I suggest you, if you wish to have any play with the pigment just jump in and grab a little bit of clear gesso to have it primed it will just help you out you now I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna do a little bit of that darker edge here as well maybe a little bit of darker edge somewhere here no if there is extra water it will blend in probably easier but yes okay I think I'm gonna grab some of this ink uh, of this color grab a little bit of grab a little bit of this and see if I can have some nice dark splashes 
have a little splash and that's it. Thank you so much my friends. I love you loads but I do have to go. Please mind yourself and your loved ones. Stay healthy, stay smiley and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.